And let's go to Marissa Armas, who is at Debbie Ortega's <laughs> campaign headquarters tonight. Marissa, what is the mood there? Hey, Michael. Well, I'm still here at Debbie Ortega's watch party, and the crowd here is still hopeful despite those early numbers coming in. Now, as I mentioned earlier, Debbie was considered a front contender because of her political experience, but that hasn't seemed to make much of a difference so far with these early results. You know, back in the late 80s and 90s, Debbie was a councilwoman, and she's been in the council at large position since 2011. But as we do know, that's the term limit for her. And I did ask her, you know, with that term limit for that position, what's kind of next? And she says that before this position, before she actually ran for this race, she was already considering possibly retiring. But here's what she had to say. You know, at the very beginning of this, I was looking at retiring. And what actually made my decision to run for this seat was just an obligation to this city and a commitment to help get the city back on track. And using that experience that I have and having worked on all the important issues that are facing our city today. And Debbie says that she's going to wait until every single vote is counted before she calls that race. You know, she did also want to thank her supporters and community for being here to support her throughout the years. And again, she says that she's going to wait until every vote is counted. We'll go ahead and toss things back to you.